Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Sugar Gary Monique, and I'm back today with another video. This is a makeup video. This is eyeshadow. I'm finally trying to learn how to do this, so I'm going to practice with you guys today on camera. Stay tuned. As you guys can see, I already have my eyebrows on. I already have on a base coat of foundation, which is the Maybelline collection, um, the Maybelline Fit Me. But before we do anything, we are going to put this concealer on our eyelids and get ready to prepare to do our foundation. So with the concealer, I'm going to put that on, apply that all over my eyelid, and then I'm going to take setting powder, and then I'm going to dust off the setting powder, and then we're going to eyeshadow. Okay, now eyeshadow. The first color I'll be using is the color 10 on the crayon case palette. Then I will go into brown after following the 10. But as I am applying this tan color from the crayon case palette, I am going to put this color on a little bit heavier, meaning I am going to use a little bit more on the eyelid because I do want this color to stand out and pop. I am now using a, another form of a nude color that I have from a palette that I received off of an Ipsy bag. I do not know the name off of hand, but I will look and put that down in the description box below when I list the products. Y'all, please don't pay me no mind. I'm in here jamming out, doing my own thing, listening to Cash Dow, doing too much. Because y'all be doing too much. But, yeah, don't mind me. I'm just having a good time doing my makeup. Here I will be applying my eyeliner that I did get from the Beauty Supply Store. If you guys have any good eyeliner recommendations, please drop them in the comments below. I am on the lookout for a great eyeliner. I love eyeliner. That is my thing. If you know me, if you know my channel, I mess with eyeliner heavy. Okay, so next I will be doing my contour and my highlight. So now I am already putting my concealer underneath the eyes. I will be putting concealer in all the highlight areas under the eyes, nose, cheeks, forehead, chin.
Blend for your life. Blend for your life, girl. You go, Glenn Coco. Here I will now be taking my setting powder and placing that everywhere I did do the highlight, meaning the concealer underneath the eyes, the nose, the forehead, the chin, the side of the cheek. Yes, I do like to use a lot because that's the way I like for my makeup to come out, so do not judge me. Do it to your liking. But still have fun and be cute, period. Damn, bitch, you using so much it looks like Christmas over there. How much setting powder are you gonna use? Flakes flying everywhere. It is now time to dust off of all that setting powder that you just put on, girl. Dust it off. It's too much. Dust it off. Now that we are coming to an end, what is left is that highlighter. You want your highlighter to be popping, but not too popping where you look a fool. So do it carefully. But we're going to do our highlighter and then lashes. I did add blush to this video and I did also add green eyeliner underneath the eye that I put on with the eyeshadow from the crayon case palette. It's actually the color green. It's like a forest green looking color. I did apply that and the blush off camera, but you will see the finished products in the pictures at the end and the video at the end. lip gloss is popping that is nyx buttercream i will put that in the description as well and girl you definitely feeling yourself now huh Thank you all for coming to my channel and watching this video. If you are new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, thumbs up this video, share it with a friend. Tell me what you all think about this look in the comments below. Thank you all. Peace out. I love y'all.